Hey guys. Well, we're working on the 240, but we're doing a little something different today. We're checking out the injectors. We got four injector dynamics, 1000 cc injectors. So we're going to go and take them and get them cleaned or at least flowed and see if they need to be cleaned. I've had them maybe eight years. The fuel filter had some shit in it, so we're gonna see if these have little fuel filters in them. And we're gonna check them out. We're gonna flow them and see how they work. That's gonna be going down at Jay's performance, so, uh, you know, check them out. <laughs> they just got this new machine. I'll be the first customer there. And uh, we're gonna try it out and see if any of these injectors need some love or not. So. Stay tuned. Subscribe, guys. Have fun. to Jay's performance so come check out their shop and see what they have to offer they can do your exhaust really cheap and they can clean your injectors so we're gonna show you how the injectors are done where's the injectors there and then uh, yeah these are the filters on the hats that they run here's one of the beasts they got They're running the bullseye. Oh, they even got the turbo guard. <laughs> All caged out. the exhaust running up and under that's what they do here at Jay's from the, I haven't cleaned my other ones from the plug but they're stuck in one of them so you have to put that back on yeah. but they don't run the like it doesn't like run the pintle right so you don't clean it like Inside. outside it's in an opening right yeah so just gotta turn it on all right yeah, I'm more interested in seeing how they flow, how even they are. They are pretty old. There's in the ultrasonic bath. And they're being activated as well, so you know they're getting cleaned inside. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. What's 10 pounds? Yeah. 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 So that was 10 minutes. Ten minutes. And do you get a like a residue or the bits in the bottom so you can see? I don't expect to see anything, but if your injectors were bad on a daily, it was pretty old. You would probably see some crap in it, but I don't really see anything.
So do you know what kind of pressure this thing puts out? It's got mm. gauge. It's, yeah, it's like 45 pounds, I think. Oh, it's pretty average. Just do the leak first, probably. Yeah. They look pretty good. Looks good. Yeah, I just happened to ask Rob, like, hey, where can I get this <laughs> And you literally, like, just got it in the it door. It literally just, I hadn't even <laughs> taken it out of the box yet. Um, I guess. We'll just, we want to do an idle spray and see how. I wouldn't mind the idle and the high RPM. Yeah, let's yeah. see what. This is the idle test. Yeah. This one doesn't look good. Yeah. The, well, the light is off. Like, you gotta stand at an angle to. Yeah, to kind of see it. They do actually seem pretty even. How did yours turn out? My gas set was fine, my alcohol set leaked everywhere. Oh really? Yep. Probably because the spray pattern is so wide. Yeah. Like how many pounds are already supposed to be? Uh, 100 in your case. I use the CC. CC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're good. I think they're close enough. I can sleep at night. <laughs> well, at least you know, like, one's not like, very low, right? Yeah, I figured one would be spraying horrible and the rest would be fine, but. I'm debating to go to Autorama to make a video. <laughs> hey, what RPM would that be? <laughs> yeah, those two are a little bit less. That one, that one flows the most. Yeah, that's crazy. What are your thoughts on this one? 
Yeah, it's the lowest. Because if you figure that, what, 106, and that one's, what, 117 milliliters. That would even leak some. Yeah, I don't know if that's, that may be just because of the bottom, like just because of where it's sitting in the bottom there. Oh, okay. Because see, when I did mine, like I had the, the O-rings in and then, but then it would sit in here, up on here, right? Yeah, okay. So, I think it must just be the way it's sitting in that thing. The pattern looks good. Yeah. This one might be the worst in pattern, but. Yeah. It, I mean, it put out a little more than this one. Yeah. Do a high speed spray. See what. Yeah, I, they, they look good like that. That's a good view of it. Yeah, I can actually see it. Yeah. They do drip, but that's probably because of spray. I feel like it's even enough where it's not going to cause I, any damage. I don't think it's going <laughs> to cause, no, like you're, I think you're close enough, right? Yeah. Let me take a picture of that level. Well, we're back. We're back here. Putting the injectors back in. We need some new O-rings. Shitty buzz. Well, one flowed more than the other. And one flowed less than the others, but there's two that were average. They're all kind of average. <laughs> it's It's fine. I don't think they'll hurt anything, so... We'll continue to run the injector dynamic 1000s. Maybe we'll buy a new turbo. The precision kind of went for I think we got everything else worked out on this car finally. Maybe not. We're looking for problems. Whatever we can find, we're finding <laughs> and fix it. I'm pretty confident that we fixed the kickback. The distributor was 180 out. So we retimed it, resynced it, redid the cam timing, and it just runs good now. So it's. She's getting there, finally. <laughs> Rip the interior out. It's gonna get all painted on Friday. And Jay's did the exhaust on this thing too. You got an HKS on there. So yeah, CJ's performance, if you guys need any maintenance or just an exhaust system done, they do quite a bit. We're in the Sarnia area and they're cheap, so check them out. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>